What's up guys, Bucci Boy here. So, this week I had such a hard time picking which chapter to review between One Piece and Black Clover. They both had such amazing chapters, and so I decided that I'm just going to review Black Clover today, and I'll just review One Piece tomorrow. So expect that video sometime tomorrow. Let's get right into it, guys. This week's Black Clover chapter was chapter 201, and it was titled The Shadow Palace. Now, the chapter wasn't that long, but a lot of really interesting stuff happened, and we got a lot of really cool information and a super dope fight on top of that. Now, the chapter opens up with a demon or devil appearing at the inner sanctum of the Magic Castle, and it's a really cool panel. The demon's design is really nice, really streamlined. He's nice and slim. He's got the really nice long tail, the wings. It's just super cool and different from a lot of other demons in different manga. And there is a door to the outside and it is being guarded by Licht. No, not Patri, but the actual true body of Licht. Licht tells this demon, I can't let you pass. And the demon replies to him that he's not surprised considering what he did to Patri, his good friend. When the demon says this, Licht is a little bit confused because he doesn't really know what happened yet with the whole dark elf thing. The demon then goes on to tell him, even with your unstable soul, after summoning that being, I'm surprised you made it this far. We're left to assume that he's talking about the big four-armed creature from 500 years ago that we've always heard called a demon, though I'm not really sure that's what it is. So I guess the rage that he had whenever he summoned this creature caused his soul to become unstable, which explains his behavior. Anyway, standard stuff, the demon says he's going to kill Licht, and then he attacks him with a really cool attack, which Licht deflects with a demon dweller sword. And then the demon retaliates with all kinds of spoken magic. An earth wall, a blade storm, a crushing spell, and then finally a binding spell that holds on to Licht and doesn't allow him to move. At this point, the demon informs Licht that his word magic can summon spells or physical objects which of course the anti-magic weapons can't really deflect physical objects that well. This is really cool because it gives us some insight as to what the demon's magic is like. He has what's called word magic, which as many people thought is apparently a magic where you can speak spells into existence. You say it and it'll happen. We have examples of this all throughout previous chapters and especially in this chapter. Seems super overpowered, but something interesting that he says to Licht is that Licht couldn't possibly stand a chance against his word magic with just one sword. I think that's really interesting wording on the demon's part because who do we know that has more than one anti-magic weapon? Of course, Asta. Now I'm not gonna go on and say that Asta is going to defeat this demon single-handedly, but it's just a really interesting word choice that I think is kind of foreshadowing on the author's part. That if Licht or somebody else had more than one sword, he might be able to overcome his word magic. So the demon conjures up this physical iron spear so that he can attack Licht and Licht can't defend against it. And right as the spear is about to pierce Licht, Charlotte Rosalie as the elf Sharla interferes and deflects this spear. And with her, who else shows up? It's almost too cliche. Our favorite dude, Yami. And this is the first time we see Yami really surprised or confused. When he sees this demon or devil as he calls it, he's totally shocked. He didn't think that creatures like this existed. But of course, he doesn't care. He sees it. He's ready to fight the thing. He followed the immense mana source here, which we know that Nozel followed, which led him to Asta and Yuno fighting the dark elf Patri. He states that he senses nothing but pure malice coming from the devil. And at this point, I want to clarify, I'm using the terms devil and demon interchangeably to refer to this black winged creature because in the manga, at least the translations that I've read, they've used those two words interchangeably. Anyway, here there's some fun one-liner exchanges between Charlotte and Yami, which obviously alludes to Yami's relationship with Charlotte, after which they agree to team up and fight this devil. And it's kind of cute. Yami says, don't you even think of harming a single hair on that body, talking about Charlotte's body. So maybe he does like her a little bit. The demon then bombards them with this massive large-scale magic, which shows us that his word magic doesn't really seem to have limits on the scale of the magic that it can produce. Of course, Yami uses his black hole and absorbs the whole thing. At this point, there's a lot of really cool panels showing all the crazy fighting between these three characters, and it's really hard to keep up with, but really cool at the same time. And at the end of all of this, Yami manages to land a solid hit with his Dimension Slash. He cuts off part of the Devil's arm and his wing, and the Devil remarks at how surprised he is that Yami and Sharla are able to be so coordinated for whatever reason. Again, kind of cute. Anyway, the climax of this chapter takes us back to the throne room. This is the last page and definitely the most interesting. Finral's being healed after his fight with Langris's elf form, Rotri, after which Nero starts pecking at him violently. And out of nowhere, totally out of left field, who would have guessed it? Nero starts speaking, as in speaking the same language that they've been speaking this whole time. 
and he tells Finral of all people, take me to the demon's bones, obviously referring to the demon skull that rests next to Hage village. Who knows what this could mean? Why does Nero want to go there? This honestly totally flips the theories that I had on Nero's identity upside down. And that's where the chapter leaves us, possibly with the most confusing thing that's happened in the entire series. Anyway, guys, like I said, it was a fantastic chapter, even though it wasn't very long. Some final thoughts that I have. One, I wonder if there's a difference between the term demon and devil used in the series. Is it just an inconsistency between the translators that we read? Or perhaps do the elves, and also Yami, given his different culture, know something about this species that maybe hasn't quite been revealed to us yet? The term demon has just been thrown around so much in Black Clover that honestly, I'm not even sure what it means anymore given the context of the series. Two, how are Yami and Sharla going to protect Licht from this demon or devil? Sure, Yami did some decent damage with his Dimension Slash, but ultimately the devil is just going to use his word magic to heal himself like he did last time he was hurt. The damage didn't seem to phase him whatsoever, so who knows what they'll have to do in order to protect Licht. Either way, I'm happy to see the dynamics between those two characters because it's just a lot of fun, especially seeing Yami in those situations. Finally, the last and most important point is who is Nero? I thought that he was licked, but that doesn't seem to be the case. He asked to be brought to the demon's bones. So is he perhaps the soul of that creature that Licht summoned 500 years ago? Is he going to somehow take his original form and fight this devil that we see? Maybe that's how they managed to drive off the devil 500 years ago and Nero's just ready for round two. Or is Nero the first magic emperor's soul and for some reason he wants to be brought back to this significant site? A lot of questions when it comes to this, but ultimately I think that Nero is here to help the magic knights and not fight against them. I definitely think that Nero is a good guy. All right, guys, that's all I have for Black Clover Chapter 201. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and be sure to leave a comment telling me what you think Nero wants at the bones of the demon in Hage Village. Whatever it is, I'm sure it will have an enormous importance when it comes to these next chapters. One more time, expect a One Piece Chapter 939 chapter review coming tomorrow. I can't wait for that one, guys. It's going to be a good one. Anyway, guys, I hope you have an incredible day, and I'll see you guys next time.